Hey, Shalom, Israel. This is the brother of Warba, representing Great Millstone Dallas, coming back at you again with this truth. Uh, before I kick it off, I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful and humble elect that's out there doing this work in truth and sincerity. Um, trying to erect the house of David so we can get the heck out of here, man. Shalom to you, you sincere aqua that are uh, subscribed to my channel as well. <clears throat> Shalom and greetings to you. All right. And so what I want to talk about today is just um, trimming your pleasures and your delights in your daily life. You know, um, there's elder that's or up and coming elder that's in our camp um, that likes to um, remind us weekly, you know, just to trim, you know, trim your ways and and trim things that will help keep your eyes single and keep your mind focused on Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? And I actually think that is a, a very much needed very much needed thing to do in order to uh, attach to your daily life and your daily mindset. Okay? Because if you know, like the scripture says, if there's things that you do, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Okay? You know, and that's just a, it's just a staple throughout life. Think about it even as a kid, when you just played too much, you did too much playing and not enough studying or not enough, you know, something in the other direction, then, you know, things change. You were, you were uh, subject to folly. Same thing with the way it is right now in this world and, and you know, in, in our daily walk as learned men and women. Okay, so, you know, and I'm not saying it's, you know, not a uh, good thing for you to do as far as to delight yourself in things that have pleasures or to enjoy yourself. But, you know, there's a time and a place to where you have to dial some things back. For some people that have vices, man, you know, for some people it may be just going out too much. Maybe uh, drinking too much or, you know, being around women, you know. Just, you know, and there's different things that go on and on about it. Okay? But um, just to bring some... Um, you know, things to light. Let's go ahead and get on these precepts. All right, so the, the first one I'm going to start with is going to be Proverbs uh, chapter 21, verse 17. Okay, I'm going to drop down to that scripture real quick. Here it is. And it says, He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man, but he that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. All right, so he that loveth pleasure shall be poor. Well, I mean, think about it. When you're always out and you got bread, you got money, or even if you don't have a whole lot of money, you know, you're out there buying things that you wouldn't normally buy, spending money at places that you wouldn't normally spend money at, you know, just doing it in excess because it feels good. You know, you may buy a whole round of shots at a bar when that's not a normal thing for you, or shoot, you may go out three, four times in a week, you know, or... You may treat yourself to dinners or treat yourself to stuff that's out to eat. Well, you know, just doing mindly things that, you know, worldly things that makes you feel good. All right. But doing that much in excess, you'll be like, well, damn, where my check go? You know, the next thing you know, you short on, <laughs> you know, responsibilities all because of too much pleasure. You see? Okay. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. Okay. It's the same thing. But you got to understand, you know, even even a part of our daily or our, our weekly, our weekly, um, our weekly lives, you know, a lot of people sleep on uh, the Shabbat. You know, that's a holy day that's that, you know, it's a holy thing that comes around every every week, you know, and the, and the Shabbat is designed to be kept holy. You know, you trim off the things that you love. And you keep your eye focused on your how about shim your shot. That should be an ultimate reset weekly for you. You know, and for a lot of Jakes, a lot of Israelites, you know, people take the Sabbath in, in, in vain. You know, they don't keep it the way it's supposed to be kept or they take it lightly. Okay. Got a quick precept. Runs along with that. It's going to be Isaiah 58. You know. Verse 13. Okay, and it says, If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy on my holy day, 
okay, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord Yahweh, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, nor finding thy own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words. You see what I'm saying? Okay, and so if you if you just trim off some of those pleasures and dial back, you know, even if you do it, you know, on the Shabbat, well, if you do it on the Shabbat, you good, or if you just do it, you know, throughout the week and just keep it as a conscious thing on your mind, you know, you'll keep yourself out of a lot of trouble and you know, away from a lot of demons, you know, of course, trimming, trimming things and also fasting and prayer. You know, they play big, important roles, um, a part of that, okay? That helps, you know, keep you dialed in with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, keeps you in the spirit, okay? Verse 14 says, Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord Yahweh, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord Yahweh had spoken it, all right? So, so there's nothing bad that goes along with that whole thing, man. It's not a bad thing to trim yourself or keep yourself away from worldly delights, you know, at, at, at a time. Okay? I mean, and our holy, uh, a couple of our holy days, our high holy days, do that. Okay, we got one coming up here shortly called the Day of Atonement. Okay, where you cut yourself off from, you know, food, drink, and things like that, man, to get your mindset, to get your mindset back right and get you back in order with your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, repentance. All right. So, I mean, I don't want to make this entirely too long, but I want to get to the point. And um, this will be my last precept, and I'm going to end with this one. Uh, makes me think of Psalms, the 119th chapter, which you can basically start at 1 if you have time to just go down and read. It's a really good read. Okay. But what I'm going to do just for the sake of time is I'm going to go down to the 34th verse, and I'm going to start there and keep it moving down. All right? So it says, this is Psalms chapter 111, or 119, excuse me, uh, verse 34. And it says, Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of, the, of thy commandments, for there... In do I delight, incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Okay? And you'll see that a lot of times, man, when you're just out there just living your best life, and you haven't been in the spirit, you know, or you haven't checked yourself. Because, you know, the scriptures tells you a wise man knoweth when he's slipping. Okay? And the spirit is utterly going to tell you, hey, man, you're doing too much. It's time for you to fall back, you know. And so in that one, you know, it'll give you it won't give you over to envious, envious ways or or or, or you know, those types of derogatory or negative energy, negative vibes. OK, and verse 37 is the point it says turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity. OK, and that word vanity right there, I mean, just pay, basically means nothing, it's emptiness, things that don't matter, man. Okay, I'll go ahead and get it in the interlinear, in the interlinear <laughs> if I can speak today. Okay, vanity. Strong's H, 7723. Shav, shav. It's emptiness, vanity, falsehood, nothingness, emptiness of speech, lying, worthlessness of conduct. Okay, you see that week in and week out in Jake's everyday lives, man. Whether it be in the in the in the in the business place or in the workplace, or if it's at the house in the family, or if it's around, you know, just everyday Jake that's hanging out. Niggas always got something to talk about or lie about, or in new modern day era they call exaggerate about, you know. So. It'll just keep you in a good in a good place to be, keep you in the spirit, if you just trim these things, man, and cut back on the pleasures of uh, of this world. All right. And so, with that being said, this is a brother of war by. I'm gonna end with that. Until next time, I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. 
Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.